دعوتی آل کس رو دوباره و هم مرکلی یا اودون شو و ات کد دعوتی سان سومالی فویس تی وی اودون شو و برنامج گاره و نکو قاضا دیگنه عرمه بل شده گارهان عرمه کمیتی که یه ولی با داد کس سومالی ده یه است آفریکان که یه ولی با داد کس لو اینکم که یا میدل کلاس که یه ولی با دن عیده کمیتی با کل دوون یک کوبیه این کودا کن مقاله دن سیار واشنگتن یه ولی با گارهان قبل کن استیو واشنگتن برنامج گاره ایان ماتی این سو دین دو نه و کس سابسن شنی طبعا که دلار یا لو آلا لاین ایو آلا بالار نویم بدن کسر دی قبل کن ولی دونی این لگدی با خدمت دوغیر یا قف و سعادی کش قین کار قبل کن 15 دلار نو مالی تی شقاره دوم که لبر دیگی سیار واشنگتن های سمیس مدارات یوس کسوس به بالار نو لگدی گی دوم تون که مقاله دا اسلام مرکز نه لوگو قبل حرفی سید داد که ایو دونه یان این قبل کن و نقد قبل لگه هرکلیو شنی طبعا دلار وحکی دینا سعادی لگو شم هذا ريتشارد أو كش أو مضحكة وان أمريكا أما إكسكتيف دايركتر كا وان أمريكا وأور أدو بالارن ونابرا في ده مقالة كجرا يقول بالربكة أو بيجت صندي يدونا أو قابل سن كوميونتي ديفلومنتي بنفيتس كبروجرام دايركتر كا أيا كا هذا ليك دونا أما ورئيسية كل دوان كبيرين دونا وها أيو أركان شنو يتوان كدولار ساعات دينا إنه قطر خدمة دوير بها كلا كهذا كرت كهذا دوم تيجونا نيكول أو يجونا كاتير سامركز بيجت صار بها كلا أو كهذا دوم حسن ديس أو كوميونتي كسومالي ده كسويدا ويسوون كهذا دوم سيد شنو يتوان كدولار أي سامين غوي يلان كرتون سومالي ده برامج كان أو أي كهذا دوم دت كلا دوم أمركزي مذاح كا ورنا برافيد أو لاين يشنو يتوان كدولار يقولي بحسن ديس ودينا على سومالي ده كوهل ده أيا وحنا قندونا برنامج سعود دونا ومركز عنكو رئيس دونا دات كلا دونا وكلا كلا سعود كوميونتيجا وحسيدا وكلا يعني في كلا دو تنسي قبيل دونا دالين يرو مركز كهذا يسا سيدا يو أركان شنو يتبان كدولار وحنا قندونا برنامج كن برنامج عنكو رئيس دونا دات كلا دونا وحنا دونا هنا هنا نهال كان سوفري سينو دات كلا سعود كلا هاد ديجان كام سيتي كونسل كوا حلو يقانو دوغا مقالة حفيز كيس دات كلا سعود یو نهایت اسکول که یاریم هم پرسش داد قیبک کرد دوباره و کسر داد و اسلام مرکا که حد دوباره فکر داده بود یه سید سامین تا اوگل اد های انشان یه تومان دوباره رگ دیگه و حاوودن بیه اقف و ساعتی کش قین کرد و هجبل کنی اسلام مرکا اسنا و حاضر دوباره تا اسکوس و به بالارن و دوک مقاله دو کس و قیبک کرد دوباره و لگو دیگه دوباره رینی های اسکول آمرکا سیل دوباره یه داد بدنی نه فکر داده کس و پدیگان تا و دیگر وحنا گل سرتان و دوباره شو هذا بكوس ودواد ريجر أو إنه بلابيا إنترفيو على أي شيء مرة نقول تجي كلهم بالارن ولاجه هذي أرين تاسي ومركزي ريجر نو حكوه يقدون تا ريبكا أو يدنا مده كا أما برنامج دايركتر أو أبيجت صندي and برنامج كنا وحكوا بلابنا يا سيداتن. Back everybody for our show. Here is with us today your introduction, your name. Sure. My name is Rich Stoltz and the Executive Director at One America. One America. I, 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 it, it's glad to have you in our uh, TV program show. Uh, the only question we would like to ask you in our interview is uh, how do you see the 15 now? For the we are here. We have we have been here today, and we had uh, we have seen a lot of members came here today for talking about the 15 now. So we would like to see the idea of One America. We know One America is a very big number of the organization. And can you tell us a little bit about your organization? What did you do for the community and all that? Sure. Yeah. So One America is a statewide immigrant and refugee advocacy organization here in Washington. Uh, we work on a wide range of issues focused on immigrant rights, refugee rights, economic justice, transportation, um, and we work in communities across the state, but throughout here in Seattle and King County. Um, today, tonight, this uh, was an event of the 15 for Seattle Coalition, uh, describing what the mayor proposed last week as a um, potential ordinance that the city council will review around increasing the minimum wage in Seattle to $15 an hour. From the perspective of One America and uh, One America Votes, um, two organizations that are sister organizations here in Washington State. Uh, we strongly support increasing the minimum wage to $15. We think this will be a significant boost for workers, um, many of whom um, that are now earning the minimum wage are immigrant and refugee workers, um, women, parents, <laughs> folks struggling to make ends meet in a city that's getting more and more expensive. Um, while we were sensitive to the needs of 
businesses and small businesses in particular in immigrant refugee communities. This will be a significant um, improvement for workers as well as an opportunity to strengthen our economy um, by putting more money into circulation. And so this is a chance to uh, um, for Seattle to lead the country um, in increasing the minimum wage and really improving the lives of workers throughout Seattle. So are you calling everybody to come for the FNT of Tuesday that's coming in Rainier uh, uh, High School? That's my year is coming. Are you, every, are you telling all every community member who are watching the program to attend there and let their voice to hear? Yeah, what we're saying is uh, let's uh, let's turn out to these events that support the $15 minimum wage. Let's. Uh, Let's uh, make clear to city council that it's time for the city of Seattle to increase its minimum wage to, to $15 so that um, every worker, especially um, minimum wage workers here in the city of Seattle, get a raise. How do you see uh, some people against this 15 now saying if $15 is increased, I mean, makes minimum wage, then the life cost of Seattle is going to be very high. How do you see those kind of comments? Mm -hmm. well, I get, um, you know, it hasn't happened before. A city hasn't raised their wage that high, but um, what the mayor is proposing and what um, we're supporting is a phase-in over several years. So that'll give the city of Seattle an opportunity. The businesses, uh, the workers, um, people who supply um, supplies to businesses, an opportunity to adjust. And I think that is important. Um, and the, the phase-in is shorter for big businesses that can afford it than it is for smaller businesses. So workers in smaller businesses um, will see their wages increase to $15 over a period of five to seven years, uh, which gives people a chance to adjust to what's a, what will be a significant change. Uh, it, is, it has been great to have you in our program, and we will have more interviews. Thank you so much for your participation and for the interview that you have given us. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. for our Don't Show, which is a community uh, program uh, show that we do uh, weekly on YouTube and also on the TV. Uh, here is with me Rebecca. Nice. Rebecca, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you uh, also. Yeah, welcome to our Don't Show. Thank you. Uh, what are we doing here today with the program? Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the class that was going on? Sure. A lot of, I have seen a lot of uh, non-profit organization members that came together here and what was the issue about? Sure. Well, so um, Puget Sound Sage, yeah. we are a nonprofit in um, Seattle that okay. works to make sure that our communities thrive. We work on issues of um, jobs to make sure we have good jobs, that people, our communities have access to those jobs. We also work on issues around affordability and making sure that communities can um, control okay. and be part of the development that happens in our neighborhoods. So tonight uh, was a talk about, uh, many people have heard about this idea of 15 now or minimum wage yeah. for $15. And so um, the mayor um, of Seattle has put forward a proposal that the city council is looking at. And, um, and so we wanted to make sure for us at SAGE to make sure that communities, small businesses, um, local nonprofits um, have the information so that they make a good decision about whether they support it or not. And so um, tonight we had um, some of our small businesses here, but we knew that um, it wasn't enough. So we're so glad uh, to be able to um, share with some of your listeners um, about the minimum wage. The minimum wage. Yeah, I have seen your organization in uh, Labor Day over there. Yes. You were having Amazing. a big science. Yeah, hello. And that's like your organization is doing a big thing in the community. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the event that's coming on Tuesday? Yes. The mayor. Yes. Yeah. So this Tuesday, um, the city council, instead of meeting downtown at the city hall, they're bringing their meeting to Rainier Beach High School at 6 p.m. People know that's on Henderson and just um, Henderson and Lake Washington Boulevard. So very close to Lake Washington Apartments. Um, and so hopefully it's an opportunity for people, if they weren't able to come tonight, mm -hmm. to be able to come that evening to um, 
hear about the minimum wage and to express their interest, you know, whether they are, um, how they will be impacted and if they support the idea of being able to have more of our low wage workers, whether they work in restaurants, whether they work in small business, be able to have a chance to earn at least $15. And um, that there are ways to uh, make it easier for our small businesses so they will not have to pay the 15 right away, but over a couple of years, they will be able to get to that. Great, great, great. So, uh, uh, the, your organization mm -hmm. works with the local community. Yes. The immigrants, the low income families, the middle class, all. So, what's the, what do you think the 15 now? I know you're, you know, you're supporting it, mm -hmm. but uh, for the low income families, uh, people who really need for mm -hmm. this thing, what's the good news that you're encouraging mm -hmm. to support this uh, 15? Yes. So you're telling them they have to come and yes. let their voice head and support it. It's going to be changing mm -hmm. their lives. Is that yeah. would you support them as Rebecca? Yeah. Definitely. So at Puget Sound Sage and as myself as Rebecca, yeah. uh, I definitely support the idea of raising our minimum wage and think that everyone should because uh, my family. Um, personally, yeah. um, my dad was a farm worker. He worked in the fields. Um, he um, often had only minimum wage, and it and it was because he was able to get to a job where he was able to pay more, to earn more, that you know we were able to advance. So he has a good wage. You know, our family did well. We had health care. They sent us to good schools. But many of my community, and I'm from the Latino community, yeah. um, Mexican community, many of my um, community members are working in the restaurants. They work as dishwashers. They work in construction. They work um, cleaning houses. And they um, do not make enough to be able to provide for their families. And um, it's because I want to see my whole community um, yeah. be able to do well. And that's where um, raising the minimum wage is an important step. And so I think all of us as immigrants, as communities of color, as, low, um, as folks that live in the Rainier Valley need to support the minimum wage because for every small business we have um, that will be impacted, we have many, many more members of our community that rely on a minimum wage. Many of our young people, um, you know, many of us, even though they have college degrees, cannot find um, the jobs that they deserve and they're working um, in the restaurants, working, um, providing social services, and they, be, they deserve and need to be able to make enough so they don't have to work two or three jobs. They can work one job and have enough to be able to have time to be able to go and help with their schools or volunteer in their mosques or their churches or their neighborhoods. We need more people being able to afford to go out to the restaurants, right? I mean, many of us see that, and the SeaTac Living Wage Initiative the difference it has made you know, for our communities, that's just one small population. This will benefit so many more people in the city of Seattle. So if you can, please come on Tuesday at Rainier Beach High School at 6 p.m. Hi, everybody. Let us go to the Tuesday on Rainier Beach High School meeting with the mayor. Let us support this. Thank you Thank so you much, so Roberta, and Thank nice you. meeting you. Welcome, yeah, yeah. welcome to our Don show. Oh, we will have more interviews okay. with you. Well, Thank you so you much. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you very much. Have a great night. Everybody, uh, welcome back to our Dutch show. We are uh, we are doing some uh, interviews with uh, the place we are here today. So, hi, and Nicole. I would like to ask you, what's going on here today? So uh, today, there's a briefing on the mayor's proposal for a fifteen dollar an hour minimum wage in Seattle. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you're uh, uh, one of the organization. Can you? do some introduction about you and the organization. Absolutely. So uh, my name is Nicole Valisero keenan and I'm the policy director at Puget Sound Sage. And we're a nonprofit that makes sure that all families have what they need to thrive. So it's a good job, an affordable place to live, and a clean and healthy environment. Okay. And we uh, support the minimum wage because it means so much for families to be able to get by. I see today there is a lot of uh, 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 people from the nonprofit organization, is from mm -hmm. the media. All those came together here. Classes mm -hmm. were going on. 
what was the project of today? You were talking about the minimum wage. Mm -hmm. What's, what kind of idea can you tell the community that's watching you about the minimum wage? Absolutely. So uh, the mayor's proposal for the $15 minimum wage would be phased in in four different steps. So about half of the workers in Seattle will see $15 in two years. And then the people that work at small businesses and small nonprofits, the minimum wage will phase in over the next five to seven years. Uh, what this means in total is three billion more dollars in the pockets of low wage workers over the next 10 years. Um, and the first year that people go to 15, it'll mean 150 million more dollars for low wage workers in Seattle. Okay, uh, uh, in your uh, program you say there will be a meeting I mean, in, uh, next Tuesday with the mayor, what's that going to be meeting about and can you announce mm -hmm. that? So there's a meeting on um, March 13th, that's Tuesday at 6 p.m. at Rainier Beach High School and you'll be able to speak with City Council about uh, what you think about the minimum wage in Seattle. And uh, that's again at 3 p uh, 6 p.m. March 13th, Tuesday at Rainier Beach High School. Uh, um, for the last question, I would like to ask you, how is this going to be useful for the community living in Seattle for the 15 mm -hmm. minimum wage? So about one in four people in Seattle right now make under 15 an hour. So it has a huge impact on a lot of people. Uh, It'll take a little bit longer to get there, but it's a way to make sure that our local businesses have time to thrive and make sure that a lot of people see a wage boost right away. So it's a compromise that's, that uh, helps you know, make sure that businesses and community all get what they need to thrive. I have seen some mm -hmm. uh, small business owners that has been in your class today uh -huh. and were supporting the program. Is there a lot of uh, small business owners that are supporting the 15 minimum wage? So there's a, there are small business owners that support the mayor's proposal for a $15 minimum wage. There are also a lot of nonprofits, community groups, and labor unions that support it as well. Nice meeting yeah. you, uh, Nicole, Thank you. and welcome back to the Outdoor Show. Thank you yeah, very much. We will have uh, more interviews with you. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you very much. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye. أكو سؤال واحد داو ده يال أو دون شو يا مركلة وحنو هات نكو قبلنا حرونتا بيوتسون أو أي محاكير هذا كسو عتيم ما أنت كلهم بلارن أو لوجا حلي إن كورنتا العكة شن يتبان كدولارا اللي دونو يو إن لقدي بق خدمة وجوه سيسا يقف وكوش قين كرو إن بقرده سير واشنطن أما قبل كان استيد واشنطن أو دون شو وبرنامج أدوي كستا كذا ومتانين إنترنت كا يقولي بس لو كله مقالة سيارة واشنطن هيدا كا كذا ولا يا مركز ستة أو سبعة أو كذا ولا يا سومالي فويس تي في هذا بقى مانتي وح هل كان كسر قيب كل برنامج في ده هذا فرق بدن أو هو رسيك اللي دوان كقادني وحنا ضد كي مش كسر قيب كل كم ده حسن أو ما جي سال أو صدق حنا نوشة دورا حسن ديس بان جوا أنا لكن عاوز واحد دوري أما جي صدق حبر النوشة أنا أقول لكم أن 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 أنا مركب هنا على عقد عن كفير نوع العقد وبدنا عندنا قوميت وسمار هدرنا آد وحنا وطاق رئيس لكن وحياة بحس إذا آد كان لاقع عبس إذا قبل إنا يقول أنا يوم حكيم إذا تشايل كيركا هل تانك فور استام كلو إنكم هاوزنك تعصو يذن اللي راح ذي وحبا يعني كبر الكومنتي كا مدة كلام تمرها كفير نوع العقد والعقد وفر بدنا تعصو هدرنا أوجس وعند شقلا عند وحب الكومنتي كا آد أوجس بدنا إسا ما دابا أنا هدرت أوجس بدنا مذوقة أما أفريقيا نمك نجلس كأدي كان سيارة دات كودونا أيضا وحبر شهر صار أو شقوين بحاجة كويلا مركز آش تاجر اللي سويدينا أو حيت هاي درس وحاجة رول على مشاريع ودكسن ديبارتمنت أو فلتي أن سوشيال أو دات كإنكم كود أو كبطة لبكون إن كويان سرقسي دقارقات تعصو هذنا أنا هاي مت هذا لوجو وفقسني هاي أما لوجو كي هاي ما وجن ماشم هذا كم وقطع عن تأنكو هاي رحن دور عاو وحن كلام كعصنا يا كمير تونا كسر قدر قلنا ميت نذا أح قصاب سام شيء طبعا كدولار سائف كده دوجا ديبتان. هذه أدوام وحوي وسيادو شيء كتيبة 
ee waxaan dareemaya waxaan ka qayb galnay dhowr kulan oo kala duwan oo looga hadlay 15 dollar waxa kamid ah banaabixi balaarna ee labor dayga ee waxa kale oo dhowr banaabixi kulama ka qayb galnay oo looga hadlay arintan 15 dollar in laga dhigo waxa ugu hooseeya ee saacad qof uu ku shaqeyn karo gobolka istid Washington hasan dadkii ka soo qayb galay oo ayuu kamid ah hadii uu san ba ka hayn qaybta koowaad ee hadaba een hasan wuxu dareen ka muujiyay 15 dollar marka la kordhiyo in hadana ay meesha ku jiraan waxyaalo kale oo dhibaato u noqon kara dadka ee u hooseeyo dhaqaalaha ay helaan ama in kamkood hasan ee anagu aan qaadad doono wareegsiyo intaan ka sii dheer waxaan su'aasha gabagabada ku weydiinaya ay tahay ee talaadada waxa jirta ee Renier Beach kulan aad u balaaran oo maayr ku imaanayo sidii concertka dadka socda imaanayaan organization ama profit ku imaanayo Soomaalida <laughs> ninta kaleenta waxa aad u wanaagsanaan lahayd maadaama aan qoomiyadda ugu badan ee degan Renian agaarkeeda in community outreach aan ugu soo biyo si ay uga saqeyb galaan ayna sirbo u diyaarsho turjubaano ku caawiya turjubaanadaanka si ay uga dhigtaan fikradooda laakiin badana meetinada waxay ku dhacaan qaab nooc kale inta oo aan dadka oo dhan aan loo dhameyn taasina waxaan filayaa in aan doon show oo qayb weyn ka qaadan doono sidii community ku barajin lahaa adii aad doonaa san tahay waan ku faraxsanahay inaad u doonsho ugu noqon kartid kuwa kasi badan oo ku rajeynaya wa asalaamu alaykum intaas waxaan ugu dandaa